Hi there again. So it's become apparent from a number of conversations that we've seen on the internet and from uh, our group that there's a lot of misinformation about the origin of Sicilian online. It seems like in a, in a, because of a lack of uh, a central body or an organization to give really good high quality information, a lot of pseudoscience is kind of floated around and uh, it seems like we hear the same nonsense is repeated over and over again. So uh, my goal is to try to give you guys a little bit of a better understanding about some real science about where Sicilian comes from, what it is, uh, what it definitely is not, and um, give you an introduction to uh, modern Sicilian language from a historical perspective. So uh, Sicilian has its Current, current Sicilian, and by, the, by that I mean the Latin-based Sicilian language that's in Sicily, it has its origin um, right after the Norman conquest. Um, that's about a thousand years ago or so. And the reason why this is important is because um, more or less there's, there's no Latin left in Sicily by the time the Normans come. Now there's some debate about how much Latin was still spoken in Sicily, and we, we don't actually know for certain. Uh, we think that there must have been some little pockets, because there are some words that appear to have come to us from an older form of Latin that no longer exists. So it's probable that, that there were some little isolated pockets. But for the most part, by the time that the Normans arrived, the island is completely Arabic and Greek speaking. And so you have a really interesting environment that Latin is reintroduced to. Um, furthermore, it's, you have a mixture of different varieties of Latin. So you have settlers that are being brought by the Normans from northern Italy, from their other territories in southern Italy, like Calabria, Puglia. And you also have um, their languages and the interesting mixes that they brought with them. So... Um, you have this interesting soup where you have people who spoke Arabic are now quickly moving in to join the Greek-speaking communities. So now you have a lot of bilingualism between Greek and Arabic. And then you have those populations slowly being Latinized. And um, what you see there is that the form of Latin that emerges is partially directly from late Latin and has a lot of uh, formalities to it that evolved directly from the late Latin. A lot of innovations that are imported from places that have been speaking Latinate dialects for a very long time. Um, and as a result, you get Sicilian, which is really kind of unusual in the whole family of Italic languages because its evolution is so recent um, and also so quick because it goes from um, uh, an interesting economy or soup of languages, and then you have this new one that's made out of it. And you can see it if you look at the, the graph of what modern Sicilian language looks like. You can see that um, although the, the, the languages that would, would come to influence Sicily after this period uh, bring a lot of vocabulary into Sicilian, the vast majority of it is directly from late Latin and from Greek. And the rest of these um, origins, like uh, Catalan, Aragonese, uh, Spanish, uh, etc., they form a very small part of the language, but altogether they form a very interesting amount of the language, and it adds a lot of, of flavor to the speech. Um, so I think that's, that's, a good, that's a good introduction to the basic of where Sicilian comes from. It doesn't come from Arabic, although it has Arabic words. It doesn't come from Greek, although Greek is a huge part of the language. Um, it doesn't come from Spanish, although Spanish also uh, is influential in its development. But it, its evolution is actually essentially a grafting of late Latin and a variety of colonists onto this interesting linguistic situation that existed at the end of the Arab period in Sicily. So I hope that helps a little bit. Um, I hope it dispels some misinformation that floats around uh, and gives people a better idea of what modern Sicilian language is. Thanks.